Welcome back to the channel, guys. For today's Clash of Clans video, we are back on the main account for the Let's Play. And previously, we looked at the Yeti and the Bats, an attack strategy which is surging in popularity. And you got to see me three star with it again and again. It is incredible, especially if you can take down Splash and then take the single target Infernos with the Bats. You guys loved it. I loved it, so I thought, why don't we show it again, break it down in case any of you missed it. And if you do want to see more examples, you can check out the video we did a couple of days ago. If you're new here, you want to subscribe to the channel for daily Clash of Clans content, I'd really recommend it, turning on that notification bell as well. We tend to have some fun, bring you some entertaining videos, and also make sure we bring the strategy content mixed in as well. However, I think we should get straight out into multiplayer and see what we find. This is the type of base you want to try and take out. Single target inferno towers around the base, however the difficulty lies in that the wizard towers cannot be distracted. So that's where it will become a little bit more tricky here. In terms of the bats, I feel if we bring them in from this bottom area it could be good. And let's use the jumps into the main area. So let's go with the Grand Warden. Uh, with a balloon to test first, followed by the healers. Then in terms of the wall wrecker, I'm thinking, the siege machine, I was thinking the wall wrecker, but we probably don't need it. Uh, let's use one wizard down to the bottom so the grand warden doesn't go that way. And let's go with the king on this other side, in fact, with one balloon, because that might exchange onto the archer tower. Trust Tesla's pop to stop that. However, it's not looking too... Oh, where's the king going? No, 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 no. King, go the... Ah, oh, what are you doing, king? I want you to go along the side of the base. That... I thought it was going to change his direction, but it didn't. So let's get the yetis in. Uh, let's get the jump spell in now as well. Uh, followed by the queen. Save onto the royal champion. We might need to use the siege barracks on the side here then. Jump to get access to the middle. Let's rage everything through. We can use the Balloon, the Grand Warden's ability. When the Town Hall is about to go down, I want the Wizard Tower tanked up to this top area. And then I will put the Bats in. Come on, guys. Move through. Move through this. Scattershot doing a good job to us. Um, let's go with the Royal Champ, then the Bats. Wizard Tower isn't tanked, so I will have to use the Freeze. I think we lost some bats there. Royal Champ's ability to get through the Freeze. I should have maybe did that a little bit earlier. Then let's try with the... Ah, it's not going to work, guys. The Wizard Tower is too far away. However, we can get this the Ice Golems on the back end to try and help. Queen will have to use her ability because of the single target Inferno. We're still doing okay. We're still not going to get a bad percentage here. And who knows? We might even get this. Are you joking me? That was a terrible attack. And we might get it. The Queen gets the single. The Royal Champion gets through. Are you joking me? Check it out. We've got one minute left. And we have the entire bottom of the base shredded. Not a primary example. But if you get the job done, you get the job done. Wow. Amazing stuff. Basically, guys, in summary, I'll try and summarize. You, you probably have some better examples on the other video we did. But heck, a three star is a three star. 36 trophies on our way back to Legends. Yes, please. Take that town hall. You don't want the town hall being up for the bats. Uh, you need to try and distract the wizard tower. Now, good base design on this one in terms of the wizard towers being slightly into the base, so I couldn't distract it with the ice golems. But I wanted to give this base a try anyways. We're close on time, guys, but we should get it. Queen should get this. Um, basically, get as much splash. Make sure the bats get through the back area and take the splash as quickly as possible. You saw how quickly the wizard towers took them down, but starting off with a three star... I'll take it. Real quick, guys, check this out. One of the 
best attack strategies right now. This is why it is surging in popularity. 36 trophies, 32, 34. That is the video we did previously. I have recorded these both together because we had the boost running and I thought, why not just get straight back into the attack strategy? 36 trophies, that is incredible. Within the space of a boost, we have managed to push, wow, what, what is that? 130, 140-ish trophies? Incredible. We do need to get a piece of wall upgrading as well. I like to keep one of the builders upgrading. Do I actually have, probably we can get the bigger season bank, builder boost? So many, oh my word. <laughs> Does that happen to you where you just don't open the season pass and wow, I had so many rewards there that um, really I should have, I should have done that earlier. That might indeed, yes, it did. It reduced the cost of the wall by 300,000 gold. That's why I wanted to do that. Boom. Absolutely. So let's get back out there and let's show you some more attacks with the Yeti Bats. We've dropped out of the 30 trophy range, this one being 29. Oh my word. Anyways, guys, it looks relatively ideal. Let me explain why. The multi and the, the scatter shot alongside this wizard tower, that's three splash damages straight away down. I'm not worried either. I should be able to jump to the town hall. Then at the top area, I can distract the wizard towers. So let's go with the grand warden. One balloon to test. Might actually be able to get another two balloons onto the archer tower and just do a little exchange there. Get that down and that will actually help to funnel my warden a little bit down towards the bottom, which is what I want. Uh, then let's go with the, let's go with the king here, followed by the siege barracks a little bit later on. I don't want to spend too much time here. Let's go with the siege barracks. Once the elixir storage goes, that, ah, yes, one more shot. One more shot did indeed get it. Let's go with the jump. And get the queen slightly to the side just to enable everything into the middle but this is looking pretty good we can get the other jump in to allow everything to the town hall this looks awesome my friends this looks awesome and we can rage relatively early on down here let's get the royal champion as well king's ability grand warden's ability might have pressed the grand warden's ability a little bit too early but let's go with the uh, royal champ's ability wizard tower tanked so the bats coming in towards the top hog riders getting shredded ah is the is the ice golem going out of range of the wizard tower it did oh but it got it anyway we wasted a freeze spell there we wasted the freeze but we got the wizard tower down that's nice let's get the ice golem come on we need to get this other wizard tower i might have put it in a little bit too late town hall has gone down oh no Ah, it switched, but it got most of the bats. This is not going well. It's not going well, but we might get it due to just being a little bit fortunate. Ah, oh, the bats are going down quick as well. We still got the queen's ability. We've got some troops to be able to get in here. Uh, let's try and get a balloon in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to break our streak? Come on, Queen. Let's get the minion in towards the single. Queen's ability. We've got to get this down. The expo could get us as well. Oh, I think it might get us. The scatter shot goes down. Single target inferno is there. Let's get the archers in. It's not a great base. Come on. Come on, my friends. Wizards trying to get us to the expo. We've got the single tanked. It goes down with the healers. We should have enough now. That was too close for comfort. In terms of the non-stop three stars, we will get it. It's an ideal base, but the one error, the one error in letting the wizard tower take down the bats is what caused that to be super close. And ultimately we only got it because it was a weaker base. That's where distracting the wizard towers really is the most important thing, but we carry on the three star streak, fortunately. I am noticing guys that as we are pushing up the trophies, the amount we are getting offered is less and less and the amount we are waiting is more and more. This base has taken around about 15 minutes to find, so we are just going to attack it. The difficulty lies in that there are single target infernos in the middle of the base here. So where do we attack from? I feel like 
Probably the bottom is the area to come in from. Let's go with the Grand Warden walk across to the left-hand side. We might actually be able to just exchange that Archer Tower relatively quick. I should probably put two balloons in. Ah, man! What is this? I wanted them to go to the next Archer Tower. Well, actually, the Archer Tower goes down, look, which is which is pretty good. Then we, we could really do with the King getting inside the base here. I think he could actually do it. Let's go with king and the siege barracks because ah we might have might have benefited from the wall wrecker in fact we might have benefited from the wall wrecker we might be able to get this as long as the king and the siege barracks down the bottom set the funnel let's go with the royal champion as well then let's go with the jump spell here that should allow the yetis to come in it does with the king and we're getting good pathing down to the bottom. We can use a poison onto the troops. We can use the Royal Champ's ability. Everything coming forward relatively good. Got no balloons left. Uh, we can use the next jump. The rage here. Then let's use one ice golem. Hopefully that tanks the wizard tower. It does. Let's now get the bats into the top area. Grand Warden's ability has to be used relatively soon. Let's get the ice golem on the outside. Come on. Oh, the bats are getting distracted. Let's use the freeze. The wizard tower is on to the ice golem on the outside. All of my yetis have gone down. Oh, no, they haven't. There's a couple at the top here, but I don't want the town hall to activate because then it will cause the bats to go down relatively quick. Oh, it's upgrading. The town hall is upgrading, so we might get fortunate here. We do have plenty of bats. Look at them go. This is where keeping the bats alive is helpful. Taking down the single, moving through, and wrapping things up, allowing us to get another three star. Now, I agree, having the town hall upgrading on this one made it quite a lot easier, guys. Let's just say it how it is. But... Within a space of a one hour boost, because we did record both of the Let's Play videos in an hour, we have had six three stars on the bounce using this attack strategy, the Yetis and the bats. I may have spoke too soon, but look at how quick the bats are wiping this base, clearing up. There's a red bomb following them and another one. Oh, the minion set off the red bomb, which followed the bats. And I might have spoke too soon. Oh no, we've got the queen, 18 seconds, a wizard on the outside as well. Come on, queen, you can do this. Oh, she's got it. 98. Oh no! Oh no! We're not going to get it! Can you believe it? Five three stars and a 99%. You couldn't write it. However, within the space of one hour, check it out. We have managed to get, oh, I, I hate to see it. 17 trophies, 29, 36, 34, 32, and 36. Wow. If you do want to check out that previous video, I'm going to link it on your screen. The Yeti Bats. We did all three stars in that one. You will enjoy it. But be sure to catch me here again tomorrow. Until then, guys, peace out.